Legend of Total War here with turn 19 of the 220 Kotsi campaign as Russia. Okay, so I'm not going to explain much of the situation. There hasn't really been any diplomacy going back and forth, and I don't think anyone's taking any of my settlements. So, first thing I want to do is get into Yazdao. So, I'm going to send a spy. Good, it's got a 40% chance of getting um, opening the gates. I'm pretty sure that opens the gate. Okay, we're going to take all but one of these units with us. And one of these. So what we want to do here, oh, of course I've got more forces here, but we don't want to bring too much because we want them to come out and fight us. Because going in and attacking that castle head-on, I just don't have the fighters to do that. So, we'll win by what we've got available. And that doesn't make this battle easy. Now, but it makes it possible. Basically, nobody really should be leaving huge garrisons on the frontier. I mean, it really should be... Everyone should know by now. You know, you put your forces in a fort behind the cities because the cities are vulnerable. And a huge garrison, unless you're really putting in some good units in there, they're not going to, um... They're not going to fight very effectively. Alright, so, I'm going to put these guys up on the hill here. And as for you, I want you to come and hide over here. And you guys... I want you to skirmish them. As they come out of there. And if you can make them tired, that would be great. Because what we need to do is sort of break them. Okay, what I need you to do, actually. Um, just come over here. I don't want you shooting just yet. Just come over here and... So there's no trees in there. I suppose I can get you to hide over here somewhere. So a lot of battles that need to be done this turn, so I really need to be quick about it. So it's easier to control three horse archers as opposed to four. Just stay out there. Because what he needs to do is, well, after all of these guys have run out of the city, out of the castle, I'll put him in the, at the gate to stop any of their routing units from actually getting back inside. Because chasing these guys down is pointless. They're all light cavalry. I'm not going to be able to catch them in time. Okay, it doesn't matter if we're not, you know, shooting them that much. We just need to be luring them over here. That being said, we should try to shoot them. Because every casualty we inflict makes it just that little bit easier. It's also important that he doesn't take too much damage either, especially not die. buy enough time for the infantry to all come out of the city. Okay, well, we've got those strategies. They, um, yeah. Now to crossbows. Not good for these guys. They'll They'll kill them pretty easily. These guys are pretty low quality. Say so Poland's got some of the best missile cavalry in the game. Okay, come on, what are those infantry doing? Yeah, they're coming out. We just need to buy a bit more time. Alright, now just come and stand over here. Let's get ready. Now the thing is, if we crush these guys straight away, they're just going to run straight back inside. So we, we kind of need to fight them and then just... Get like a mass route, but only at the right time. If you get into the fight with him. Okay, now I need you to start getting over here. Okay, so they're fighting. He's already broken them. Right, you come over here. Those guys will need to be in, in the fight as well. Okay, shoot, shoot. Okay, it doesn't matter if some of them get back, as long as the majority of them get caught. Okay, yeah, yeah. Now you're okay. Now over here. That's it. Come over here. Not too close. You just want to cut them off. Okay, now you guys coming around the flank here. Charge into the rear of them. Try and get a mass route. Wow, you've already taken a lot of damage. That's okay. It's acceptable. I just don't want him to take heaps of damage. 
You chase these down. And you come over here, hit these Polish nobles. Okay, you need to keep chasing them to make sure they don't, uh, don't actually come back. Okay, you two, stop shooting now because you're in a fight. Okay, just get them all routing, that's fine. Okay, that's working. And these guys over here, all of them need to be routing. Okay, so you, over here. And very soon they're going to start turning around and coming back because they realise this is all a bit trap. Okay, focus on the cavalry first because then these, these guys, I need the general to take them down. Come over here, take them. it all day. I don't know what it is. It's fucking Skype or something. Okay, you guys get over here. Okay, some of them have come back. What's this here? This man of Polish nobles. Yeah, we'll shoot them. Okay, good. He broke. Okay. The generals need to get over here. Need to crash into this to get them to break. What's this? Oh, I didn't expect the general's bodyguard to come out. Okay, Polish archers, you can fight them. Come on, don't let me down. Alright, how are we going so far? 21 to 31%. Okay, what about this? Now, the, the general being here is not necessarily a good thing because he's going to give these guys extra morale. Looks like they're all running inside the castle now. Come on, you guys need to get over here. I need your I need your dread. Hurry up. What's taking you so damn long? Only intervention by the almighty lord or a military genius. We've got a bit of a route going. Okay, let them get inside. Do not let them get inside. As a matter if we take a few casualties, because our army is, is weaker than theirs. It, you know, even if we did a, just a full trade-off, our army destroyed for theirs. We still get the better of them. But that being said, we should try and do a bit better than that. Do not let them inside. Get over here. You two, get rid of these Polish nobles. The Lord is with us today. We have captured the enemy's walls. What's going on with him? I don't know why he's being so slow, but he's also taking a lot of casualties, which is very bad. More so than the others. No, no, no. I don't need you going inside just yet. Only intervention by the Almighty Lord or a military genius can okay, bring that's it. Come over here. Need your dread. Yeah, so these Kazakhs take a lot of damage, but that's okay. They're replaceable. I needed them to get into the fight. This one. Okay, that's it. Come right over here. We're going to get a mass route. So they're, they're routing. That's it. Come on, come on. The battle seems to be swinging in our favor. From such tidings does victory emerge. Okay, we've cut them all off. Only half right, the so enemy we've lost 42%, remain. but that's okay. You can, as you can see, most of the enemy army has been totally annihilated. Our men are winning the battle. Okay, we no more shooting. Like this, we will smash the enemy. I would say a measure of how well the battle's done is measured by how many men you can capture, so that's not too bad at all. Don't let these guys get away. Okay, now let's start walking him over here. We also need to get this done quickly, so maybe he should run. It's going to exhaust him, but that's okay, you can still, still do plenty of damage. Okay, there's still a few of them left over. That actually managed to break through. That's okay. He shouldn't be fighting anymore. That's quite enough. Shit. It's just just for charities. Whatever. Let them fight. You two, get over here. And fight them. Just don't fight the enemy general. Very much in our favor. 
If we remain true and steadfast, victory will be ours. Okay, good. And just kill that unit there. Kill that guy there and then pull away from it. Okay, you got him. Good. Just come over here and just relax. You over here. Just the general, come over here and just relax. if he's died, obviously he's the best person now to be hitting this. Even the horse archers here probably, well there's hardly any left anyway. They'll probably gain the most recovery after the battle. Obviously we have taken a lot of casualties but considering what we've killed that's pretty good. I mean our army was about a quarter of the strength of the enemy and we've still got half of our guys left. Most of these guys are going to end up dead. Of course they're going to end up tired. You might think, why don't I walk them? Well don't forget, I've got other battles I need to fight and I can't pause the recording. What's going on? You guys shoot. My lord, only half of our force remains. Okay. Alright, doesn't matter. Alright, you two get in there as well. Just don't die. Excellent. Our men have our men are curses. Our men no longer command the castle. I don't really need these two after this. The enemy general by the lord. Our foe is utterly All right, good. So how do we go with that? We lost 50% of our army. Day, it, how do we go for recovery? Most glorious victory. Oh, good. The, the main general, he recovered nine, nine men. That's great. Unfortunately, the Kazakhs didn't recover very much. Not essential. They are very easily replaced. After we've just taken a castle. Then again, so are generals. The thing is, what you might notice now is they're... We're not getting people leaving all their armies out on the field. They're forting everything up. I can't get as many men of the hours now, which is what they should be doing. Alright, sack that. So, let's see, how much is his dread now? Nice and five dread, that's great. There's already some, some units here we can recruit straight away, that's great. Okay, next set on what we need to take is Plock. Now, this settlement is arguably going to be even more difficult. Okay, so now we need to use these two spies in Plock. Now, the thing is, we'll be coming with essentially even match, but the thing is, we'll be coming with equal force. Um, they're not going to come out and fight, which is just not possible with this battle because there's no way to drag him out, and he's going to be the hardest to get in uh, to, to fight. All right, eighty percent chance that opens the gate. Okay, now the thing is, he's a drill master, right? So he can actually make it where they can't. So he can actually command that battle. In addition to that, he can make it to this battle. In addition to that, you and you can make it to this battle. Okay, now the problem that I have with is this. If we take this settlement, those guys in there are vulnerable to, of course, be killed off by the forces at Thorn or wherever. Because these, I think there's, I've counted four or five enemy spies in the area. So we've got one here, there, so it's two, three, and fourth is right there. Now, it could very well be more than that. But um, I think we just need to keep on hitting them as hard as we can because the thing is, even if the spy gets in there, there's no guarantee he's going to open the gate. And he can't make more than two movements at a time. Uh, more than one movement at a time. So he can't get inside Plock and Yazdao at the same time. So if we conquer Plock, but it gets taken, well, we probably just stopped them from retaking Yazdao. In addition to that, we should also make some more forts in the area to stop them from from being retaken. <coughs> Excuse me. Alright, so who's got the most movements? Alright, so let's see here. You've got the most. Because I want to put some forts down. It just doesn't seem like it's going to be very feasible. I want to put a fort there and put one of these guys. Oh man, they merged. I didn't want them to merge because I need them to 
get places. Let me just see. Can this go here? Make it? No, they didn't lose any movement by coming there. What about you? What can you do? Order. Nothing. You're useless. Yes. Well, you could position yourself in there, but that might be a waste. Waste of boy ass size. Well, it doesn't matter. I want to cut them off from coming across up from the north. But then again, this spy here, this um, this army here that's there, might want to come to Yazda. How are we going for time? Because I don't have time to be blabbering on about this. Okay, I already used up 15 minutes. Okay, I might have to come back to this situation. I'll definitely do that, but I've got to do other things as well. Okay. Oh, jeez. Um, another thing we need to do, we need to... My plan over here worked like a charm. I put a ship right there for the sole purpose of possibly luring this fleet over there to go and kill it. And he did exactly that. There was absolutely nothing on the ship. It was completely just to get them out of the port. And now, we... Let me just, um, let's see how we're going to do this. Oh, I'll get... Shit, I don't, I don't want to create a new multiple star admiral, so I just need... Get one of these ships, put it there, and then just get everyone on that ship, because they'll be making landfall. Is there anything left on there? You still there? I haven't got one of them on there. Okay, yep. Then, this navy here, I need it to sink. Admiral, whatever. Obviously, that didn't get sunk. Uh, we don't really have time to sink it completely. Oh, then again, it went up north, so maybe my other ships could go and destroy it. That are up there. So you won't be able to move them next turn. Well, this turn. Okay, it sunk more of them, and then they went up to... So they've got to be hiding somewhere around there, so let's just call that a day. Then the next thing I need to do is land them here. Okay, then I just... How much movement do they have? Because I don't need all my forces for this. But I will move them all to here, and then they all come out. Now, only one of these spies is actually going to have enough movement to get inside the of Danzig. It's, yes, um, yeah, this sire. one. So yes. he gets in there. Then, now, unfortunately, with this, this city here, I got a really bad roll of luck. I need to get more than 90% chance to open the gate. To open the gate. Okay, so in addition to that, I think there's a spy there. There is, so I should probably go and kill him. Good, he's dead. And Who then after that, we'll send him down this. Let's see. No, uh, let's see. Um, either way, should be fine. Just stay out here because I'm a little bit cautious of the Holy Roman Empire as well. You need to come down here as well. Okay, now I need just one spy to open the gate here. I may have sent my best spy that I didn't need to send. Because now I've only got four more... Oh shit, that's right. I wasn't supposed to send that one. I was supposed to send this one. Because the other ones can't make it. Things you can plan out. the turn as much as possible. When things get very complicated, you just have to forget. Alright, so this spy here should be enough to open that gate. Okay, so that should be open. Now, all of the four of these spies will probably be needed to open this gate. Who is my target? Yes. Now, another problem with, with this is because you can see the Holy Roman Empire was clearly trying to come here. Let's see if this one Sire. will just make it be enough. 89%, is that enough to open the gate? That's right, I got a very poor run of luck in that one. Yes. It's okay. Now, whilst I've got no hostilities between myself and the Holy Roman Empire, there's no reason why he couldn't, I guess, just hit me as well, because Poland's pretty much done. We've got no formal alliance, and I'm pretty sure Lithuania would actually Sorry. back him, just because, obviously, people are going to go after the biggest person next, and that's me. Okay, now the gates should be open. Uh-huh. 
Alright, so that'll just need to be just full. Normally there's no there's no drawing the garrison out on that one. I don't have any infantry. I'm not able to send there, do I? I could send these guys. To fight the king there. I don't, oh, that's not the king. It's the faction heir. It's a large town. I fucking hate fighting large towns. We'll be fine with what we've got. Cavalry by itself should be fine. We've got some javelin cav there, I think. Those boyars... Hang on. Are those boyars sons javelin? Yeah, they're good. Okay. They're good at killing General's bodyguard. Alright, so not attack... Oh, also he's got Pimps of Dread, which is absolutely useless in this battlefield anyway. Okay, then we need to take Marienburg. Here we go, and I've already used up 20 minutes. Not good. 21 minutes, actually. I gotta make this one quick. Alright, you both stay there. You lot, just wait here for now. So we send the generals in to do the initial damage. Damn it, none of, their, none of their fucking units are right in the front here. Now, what we need to be doing... Oh, hang on, hang on, I got an idea. Stop, stop, stop. Let them see... Let me see if they don't actually go straight to the town square. I don't know if the general does. What, what are you doing? Okay, I need you to go go kill those guys that are over here. Don't let them get back to the town square. You guys, get in over here. What are they doing? Yep. Are they going to turn around? The Lord is with us today. We have captured the enemy's walls. God damn it, if they all get inside the town square, that sucks. Hang on, I think I'll be, I will be able to cut this guy off. Because I think these generals are really shit. So they're not going to be good enough to, to stop us. Alright, I want you guys to hold out over here. And I want you to start coming in over here. Okay, he's already shaken. And that's just due to my general's dread. Don't let them get back there. It's only town militia as well. Even though they are sort of like semi spearmen, should be able to crush them. The problem is with a front on attack like that without charging, the possibility of generals dying which is unacceptable. But also, they are close to their general, which isn't ideal. It doesn't matter if he takes a bit of damage, this might be the last time he fights in a little while. The battle is very much in our favor. If we remain true and steadfast, Victory will be ours. Okay, so I want you to come in over here. And just try and get their attention to come out. So what we need is to keep pushing through here so that when they do break, which shouldn't be too much longer, we can actually sprint there, uh, cut them off. There we go, cut them off. Cut them off. Alright, good, they're cut off. And they're captured. Alright, now just wait over here. You come over here. We'll see if they just sit there and just take it like a bitch. Nope. No, that's okay, we want those guys to come out over here. Alright. King, I need you over here. Because I want you to be giving, you know, causing dread. That's it, come, come and chase me, bitch. That's it, draw, draw them out over here. They didn't fucking listen to me. So, come on, it's all just, it's all just, all just a trick. Come on, be a bit more responsive, will ya? No, hang on, hang on, hang on, no good, no good. Okay, looks like I'll have to just keep fighting until the general gets here. Once he gets there, it the should be... Is very much oh, in shit. Our favor. If we remain true and steadfast... Victory will be ours. It might be best if you just, just walk outside the city. He won't chase you beyond there. I'm pretty sure that might actually be the faction here as well. You come over here. They're already wavering. Don't, don't shoot. So once he gets there, they'll break. Because his dread is, like, maxed out. Because I've just been an absolute bastard throughout this entire campaign. As far as this guy's concerned. The enemy are badly bloodied. They have lost half their men. Okay, so there's two ways we can handle this. 
Uh, I think I'll go with shooting a few javelins off and then just just bum rushing in with my my soldiers, uh, with the general's bodyguard. I'm not going to use the Kazakhs for it because it just take too long. We just don't have enough time. But these guys will be able to spend off their missiles a lot faster. Let's get over here. Let's get over here and shoot him. Can't be more responsive than that, would you? Man, that sucks. Did we even kill any of them? We killed one. It's okay. Be a bit more responsive. Are we getting some? I'm sure we're doing hit point damage as well. You should probably just hang back over here a little bit. You come back over here. We want to sandwich them if possible. You fire at will. Okay, you guys fight them there. Good. Keep shooting him. Ha, we broke him. What a coward. I got no complaints with that. And had to go for time on that. So we walked in there with 21 minutes down the clock. Now we're down for 26 and a bit. So that was a bit more than 5 minutes. That's pretty good. Once again, sack it. Good. Make a bit of cash as well. Now most of these guys... Good, can get back on the boats. Just in just in case the Holy Roman Empire decides to pull any tricks now, we'll do that a bit later. Now, how far can we get these guys? Yes. Yeah. Okay, so next step is Marienburg. Which should be a pretty easy battle, but we should come in here with with less forces than we need, because most of the infantry, they'll come out and fight. Alright, so let's see. Bring in these soldiers. Who's got the most dread? Actually, what about the king? He should command this fight. He's old anyway. If he gets killed, doesn't really matter. Well, it does matter because he's fantastic. Anyway, you come. Come to here. It'll make a huge difference having him in there. He'll be able to bloody kill them all by himself. Okay, then we also need these guys to go and kill those that are, will be left over afterwards. And then we need. I don't want to send too much. I don't know if I need more generals. Maybe just a couple of yes. Kazakhs. Orders just say three of these. Yes. One quick save because I don't know if that's actually going to work. Behind, okay, that should work. So what we're doing here, we're drawing them out of the city. As many of them as we can. Oh fuck, I forgot to check who's going to be the general. Doesn't matter. Just my general by himself should be able to absolutely terrify the shit out of them. We'll go and, and get a route going before they get back to the city. And then there should only be like one or two guys left inside after that. At which point we use the infantry. Okay, what side do we have to come in from? Okay, so over here. So they should come and hide in the forest over here, just as we did last time. Can you guys, initial skirmish. Good, here they come. So you want to buy enough time for all of them to come out here. So who's the general? Okay, one of the cavalry units is the general. That's fine. That's essentially when they come out, it's just annoying anyway. That means one of the cavalry units will probably come out, though. So we have to wait until all of them are out. Alright, that's the cavalry there. Probably afford to kill him right away. So you come over there, try to skirmish him, because this is that's the one unit that will probably give my general a run for his money. Don't worry about shooting them just yet. Alright, now if you charge into them, then his whole sandwich is going to break straight away, because this dread makes such a huge difference. As you can see. Just, just hang back, General. Yeah, feel free to run them down. You go stop shooting. Don't waste your ammo just yet. We don't wanna we don't wanna pull this balance of power up too high. Just try and cut him off if you can. Stop 
shooting. Okay, good. There's quite a few Polish nobles been captured there. Okay, we're still waiting for them all to come out, though. So we start, if we start bashing them up now, they're not all going to get out. The trap's not going to work. Alright, so what's left over? Catapult. Okay, the two catapults and one lot of Polish um, nobles, whatever. That's fine. Okay, now with this, we start at the back. So this guy here, obviously, there's no need to kill him. He's too far away to really be a concern. The guys over here, let's start with them, and then just work our way out. Okay, now you can start shooting. Don't get, don't get caught. Fucking hell. I'm trying to hurry, but at the same time, do a good job. Okay, just drive home. This is exactly why I don't leave huge garrisons inside my cities. Oh, pull the charges. Get in there. Don't even need the general nearby that. Okay, now it doesn't matter if they decide to come back in. They've already... They're, they're cut off. It doesn't matter if the balance of power now goes in our favour. This, this tactic here works so well against garrisons of all infantry. As we've seen many times as I was um, fighting Lionheart. You just can't play these hot seats like it's a normal campaign. Or a single player campaign. It's just not the same. Okay, no, they're going back inside. They've recognised that the situation out here is fucked. And these guys out here, they're dead meat. Okay, since this we've still got some ammunition. And these are, you know, Polish nobles. They're high quality spearmen. We should thin them out a little bit more. And it's important that every single one of these battalions gets some of these, some of the damage. Make it easier to break. So no point just absolutely obliterating just one of them. Grab and flank him and shoot them. I may not have even needed the infantry. That's okay, they were just cheap shit anyway. Get in there, should be instant breakage. For the moment, the fortune of battle goes out. The battle is very much in our... The enemy are badly bloodied. Alright, now you guys get up here. Have we gone for time? Have we passed half hour yet? Yeah. So the plan at this point is to get this guy up on the wall and try and shoot him. This is a fortress. Okay, well actually, if this is the case, he's hanging out here. Let's just go kill him. Our soldiers have proved their worth today. The enemy's walls belong to us now. The battle is very much in our favor. We remain true and steadfast. The fuck, they weren't fighting him properly. If those catapults did more damage to, than him to anything else. Than anything else, whatever. Um, yeah, if we can get them up there, that'd be great. Get over here. I don't know what I'm going to do with these peasants. I mean, they're not going to break easily because we've got such a high power general. They're out of ammo, so they're pretty much useless. Even so, he could kill them by himself. But that being said, I don't want to risk his life. Not when we've got garbage like this that we can throw away. So we just get up on the wall straight away. And you can even outrange them possibly from there. Start shooting yet. Come on, come on, come on. You just hurry, hurry, hurry. Oh, I fucked it. Come on, up on the walls. But because of the general, they don't, they don't break so easily. And even if they're just there just to waste his ammunition. Get over here. But that totally failed there. Just cut them off. Okay, they're cut off. If we continue like this, we will smash the enemy. The enemy general lies dead. We have sent the core. Okay, you to go help. finish them off. Careful, watch out for them. Get 
Careful, 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 careful. Not a hurry. That's lowering my efficiency. That doesn't matter. The battle is very much in our favor. If we remain true and steadfast, victory will be ours. Excellent. Alright, we got this. So, this was of course originally a Teutonic settlement. Okay, so we're at 35 minutes 30. 24 minutes left to do this. Which should be plenty of time to actually stop and just think through this properly. Once again, sack it. Okay, what can we recruit here? Nothing. That's fine. Can we send any of these these guys over there? Yeah. All right. Uh, what can we recruit here? Nothing. That's fine. I'm gonna send you over here. Now I know that the Holy Roman Empire has got a navy over here, so we don't want to um, we don't want to get sunk. Okay, you need to be coming in because I've got my siege equipment on them. Come in from over there. All the cavalry, because I'm still, I mean, I don't think that they will, but we should take a precaution just in case. Come out on the boat. Damn it, I was hoping they might get closer to there. Because their boats are over here. Which they, they could reach here. That being said, there's only four of them. They can't, they can't get in to here without coming through this section here, unless they go around, at which point they'd run out of movement points. What I'll do is... Not too sure. Okay, so you... You lot... Come over here. So we're splitting them up a little bit, and you lot... What I'll do is I'll move you up. Come over here. Move it down. And that's just in case the uh, the Holy Roman Empire do decide to attack. They're trying to declare war. Okay, we need to uh, drop the tax right there. I don't think they will, but we should make precaution just in case. All right, I gotta find where that Polish navy went. All right, there it is. All right, it's gone. And we didn't lose a single man on that particular attack either. So that's great. Okay. Okay, we got more ships over here. I need them, I need them out here to keep an eye on the Holy Roman Empire. I don't, you know, if if they're making ships, I want to know about it. So we'll put them at, put the ships at any port where they are, just to. Okay, so they could make ships from here, but they haven't. All right, we're gonna need some more ships over over here as well because I want to control the Baltic. If I control the Baltic, no one can really attack me that well. I mean, over land, I think I've got a massive advantage. And and so as well over sea. All right, so that's that's all done there. Now we need to work on Plock. How are we going to handle this? Because Plock is one of those settlements where I could take it, sure, no problem with that. But what happens after we take it? What are we going to do? How are we going to hold this settlement? Now I can't really send any more forces. Oh crap! You can't stay there. I will make them fear you. That's one. Well, it's he's old. It doesn't really matter if he does. But then again. They could. He's. I can't get him out of there. My lord. Yes. I have an idea. An honor, an, Who an, here an is a giant pile serve. of crap? You're a giant an pile of crap. Oh, hang on. Do you have drill master? Okay, that doesn't make you a giant pile of crap. Who doesn't have drill master? To you. Doesn't matter if you don't have much command, drill master's more important. Okay, so if you came down here and just built a fort, it would be much harder for them to actually make their way over here. Building a fort to defend from honorable. Still possible, but it would be harder. To see if I was able to bring... Now, see, they can't get to there. I can't get past here to, to there to besiege the settlement. 
So I don't mind sacrificing because if they have to use the spire's movement, and then that's it. They've lost all of their artillery now. So if we can stay there, that's fine. Sire. Now, what about spies? Okay, I should probably get some of these spies moving. Back this way, so we can take Thorn next turn. I don't need to leave all these spies here. Yes, sire. No further today. Yes. Just, just two spies there. Even yeah, two spies should be fine. Okay, how about you come down to Kronosberg? Increase the tax rate here, that's great. Here we go for time. Keep an eye on this. Can I go over time? Okay, I'm at 41 minutes. Uh, taking Plock shouldn't take too long, but I should probably do this now. Alright, so what do we need to send? Who's going to initiate this attack? Um, well, you need to command it, because Dread is important. So you come over here. Good, besieged. Gates open. And you. And you're probably not needed, but I don't want to take any risks in possibly fucking up this settlement with such little time left. And you. So your job is to kill the enemy general, your job is to kill everything else. Okay, so the odds are slightly against us, but it doesn't mean we can't win this. I mean, yeah, we should easily be able to kill this crossbow militia. Okay, now it's quite possible that we'll lose this settlement during the end turn, but that's okay, because if we lose this settlement, that just means we didn't lose another settlement. If we're losing generals, it doesn't really matter. We can get new ones. We can recruit faster than the Polish can as well. It's time to be completely aggressive and just get... just eliminate them. Okay, start deployment. Alright, so where do I want you to position? You position right here. General... No, you, no, no, you stay here with them. Uh, you... Come over here. And I want you on this side here. Hopefully... Oh, we'll just have to see how we go. Alright, so I'm just going to pause it one, for, one second just to see where each unit is. Okay, cavalry there. We've got... Spear Militia there, we've got, uh, hang on, okay, there's another one over here somewhere, there it is, those are the Town Militia, you've got the crossbows over there, don't you? Okay, so, you need to get in there, and you two, get in here, cut them off from the Town Square, and you, just hang back for a moment. Should be to, you should be able to kill them, no problem. If they're coming up on the walls, that's going to suck. But I don't think they made it in time. Okay, I need you to actually get by them. Get away from them, get away, just get over here. Let them handle this. Where is he going? It doesn't matter. Just get away from the walls and they'll come... Oh no, they're already coming down. Just over here and then just wait. Okay, you. Okay, he's going back to the town square. That's fine. That's to be expected. I need the general over here to help break this guy. Just don't die on me, you son of a bitch. Where are you? That's him there. Okay, good. Now break the son of a bitch. Okay, where'd that other unit go? He's over here. Come on, hurry up with them. He's going over here. Okay, they're here. Okay, you should have no trouble killing them. How's the balance of power going? Eight to... Okay, not great. Not too bad either. They're not doing anything. I really need him over here, because he, he's got enough dread to be able to break them straight away, but it's just kind of busy. Okay, you should have no trouble fighting them. Yep. They're not all off the walls yet, so they're not properly fighting. Silly glitch. Okay, that's wavering. Good. They're, they're clearly losing. How's this going on over here? Nothing. Good. Good. Run them down. How are you going over here now? Oh, motherfucker, he's right on us. 
you, you're gonna want to get out of that. Well, that's not good at all. I really don't want to lose any generals. Well, it doesn't matter if we do. Okay, you just fight there. Okay, you killed them. Come over here. Now you get to the town square. Now you, what are you doing? We need to be killing these off here. Oh fuck, we're totally sandwiched in here. Luckily these... Fuck it, hell. Move it over here. So that didn't exactly go too well, but it's keeping their general distracted, if nothing else. Where's the general? Oh man, I think he's dead. I don't see how he's gonna get out of here. Yeah, I think he's gone. Try and get him out. Try and save his life, but I think he's gone. He's just too badly stuck. Just accept the fact. If we continue like this, we will smash the enemy. You need to come over here. Yeah, he's dead. Okay, I need you to come over here. And not let them get over there. Okay, good. They're cut off. Got to get over here right away. Okay, we're winning the battle at the moment. The enemy are badly bloodied. They have lost half their men. This way. You over here. Skill to make sure they don't get through. Oh, you're still fighting. Okay, good, good. Oh, I forgot about them. Um, you've got time to kill it. Might as well send them all to their death as they're of no further use to us. Just stop. I don't want him chasing after us just yet. Where the hell does he think he's going? Is he going around the other way? No, he's going to come around here as well. Oh, no, just, just wait here. General, you come over here. I'm going to frighten him. Alright, with them in Skiltrum. They should be able to fight. To a decent but I don't care if we lose all of them. This is what they're here for, to fight General's bodyguard units. Funny that the, uh, the unit I thought would be the easiest to take down actually killed one of my generals, the, uh, the crossbows. Our men are Time to get through. If we raise the saints, our men have taken control of the city. Okay, get out of skill troop and actually be aggressively fight. Because I think skill troop what it's there for is to stop, well, to reduce the power of charges. He's shaking. Get in a little bit closer, or he might just break. Get in there. This is a clear victory. We got him. Goes to only men of great virtue Lose a general, kill a king. Fine with me. And it wasn't really that important of a general anyway. If I get a few men of the hours, and they'll be back. Well. A replacement will be back. And more importantly, we get to sack the settlement and make a lot of money. So if you have a look at this guy now, he's very good. Now, is there any saving him? No. You can't get him out of settlement. You, you can get him out. But what good's that gonna do? Because there's, there's really... The only force that could really stop us, I suppose, is right here because we could recruit two of these spear militia and that'll be able to stop mm, can't honestly say that'll stop them uh then again they're gonna have poor morale if he's sitting in the city because if i could block them off somehow from getting here like building a fort here i built a fort there it would block the nearby vicinity you have to go around, because I think... Let me just see what's in there. There's cavalry in there, so they could probably even just go around. But it would save save them if we did get attacked here. 
I mean, I'd really want to save him. He can't be. If they're going to retake Plock, it can't be saved. Yes. How are we going for time? Pretty sure I've still got like ten minutes left. Not even that. All right. Well, the 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 turn's gone pretty well so far. So even if I press enter turn right now, I'm pretty happy with that. Okay. So you. Want you to come over here. Okay, we can't leave all of these guys here like this. Yes, Lord. Want you to. Orders, my lord. Uh, let's see. Yes. Not too sure. Also, oh, that's right. It's got more forces. Okay, you. Uh, let's see. Maybe here. These guys. Bring them in over here. My lord. Orders, my king. My lord. Uh, let's Orders. see. Bring. Yes. I don't need to keep this fort. Actually, I kind of do, just to keep Lithuania out, I suppose, possibly. Just in case. I mean, they are my ally, but let's face it, it's not going to last that much longer. I'm sure he's making his plans, and I'm just trying to see what he's going to be doing. Alright, so, how are we going? i got to keep my eye on this fucking clock. So, 51 minutes, 25. A bit of time left. I got a lot of money to spend as well, so maybe I should do that. No, it's, it's more important that I sort these things out over here. Alright, I don't want to leave these generals out in the open. That's the thing. Because they're only going to be able to attack so many areas. So maybe if I left one general in here... Wait, which of these generals is better? You're better. We should probably leave you in there, because that's really more protected if we put a fort here. Because I think that's the closest way for them to get from here to there. So you come down to here and build a fort. And he'll have to come around this way if he wants to get in, which he, he might be able to get in still. Spy here. Put him in. Actually, why don't you see if you can actually go inside the city? No. No, we're never going to get in the head today. Do I have other spies around here? You've got a spy. What else? Okay, that's fine. We'll just leave it at that for now. Because I've got all these spies over here. How far can you go? Sire. Now you're at the limit yes. of your movement. Sire. Okay, I need to move my spies around. Yes. Okay, we've got a spy at Smolensk. Um, it's probably time we keep an eye on Lithuania. Sire. I don't want to declare war yes. on him, but if Sire. he declares war on me, I want to be ready. Okay, we've got someone at Riga. Just uh, bring him close over here. Morning, Lord. And if he knows yes. I've got a lot of spies in his land, maybe yes. he'll be less Sire. less eager to declare war on me, if that yes. is his plan. At this region here, we've got another spy. But he can move into any of these settlements at any time. But what he does need is... Uh, I'll just leave him there, it's fine. What's his name again? His name is... Billy or whatever. Oh, yep, that's him yes. there. Sire. Yes. Sire. Running yes. out of time. Okay, this guy doesn't need to stay there. Okay, I want you to come and spy on this Polish merchant here just for experience. Good. Okay, that's a that's a glitch. Don't do that. You can't push them out of the way. All right. So Zub or Kev, where are you? Sire. Yes, sire. Yes, sire. Yes. I don't think you're needed there. Come to here. An honor to serve. Why don't you come to here? Build the fort there. Ready to move in the now put then. one of those spies there. Yes. Probably doesn't cut them off completely, but we're working on it. What's that spy's name? His name is. Sire. Zim. Oh god. How are we going? I got five minutes left. Yes, sire. Yes, sire. 
Yep, you say that. Yes. You say that. Sire. Yes. Another one of Riga. Spy on him, just for experience. And then make your way down here. What was your name? Zub. Zub Grigoriev. Sire. Yes. Who is my time? Who's time? An honor lord. Yes. Oh, I've got. The, what was I doing with you? It doesn't matter. Yes, lord. Yes. Just do it. Without question, my lord. Tomorrow's journey awaits. Ready to trade. Ready. Okay, God that's all good. Okay, now we've still got four minutes left. Let's build stuff. So let's go to construction. Like I said, I'm not really worrying about Norway. It's just been a pain in the ass going there in the first place. All right. So we need. What's this? This is Pskov, which is that the capital? No, it used to be the capital. All right. Um. I really don't have time to bloody go through everything, so just pick something. Fidibisk. Pick something. I've got four minutes left. I've got this, or oh, where's this? I've got tons of money, so I will build that up into a castle. We've got this, this is Tosno. Okay, this is going to be an economic city. We, it needs it needs, um, it needs population growth, or it's not going to get anywhere. Border town. I know where this is. This is just a, it's a castle. Yeah, build some stables. I'm going to be recruiting from there, I think. Uh, Narva. Yep, build that. Actually, build this, and then increase the tax rate. Reval. Got nearly a little bit more than three minutes. It's okay, money's going down. At Duneburg, which is the capital. I'm pretty sure Russian... Infantry is crap, so I wouldn't worry about that too much. Pick something. Okay, that just... Ah, oh, that's crap. Um, pick practice range. Actually, no, no, no. Pick artillery. We're going to need that soon, I think. People are spying up. I mean, they've got lots of spies. Ahrensburg. Uh, where's that? It's ages away. Just whatever. Actually, go back to Ahrensburg. I prefer population growth. Uh, Miglin. Go with that. Got to think about more money. Okay, Chernigov. How are we going here with mining? Okay, that's a bit of money. Go for it. Got two and a half minutes left. Chernobyl. Got to okay, move faster. What is this settlement? Uh, yeah, whatever. Just fought it up. Um, Visby. Let's see. Where is this? Visby. There's no point building that. Build that because public order is not great. Uh, Zodomir. Lvov, what's going on here? Uh, uh, just build train peasants. Okay, got two minutes and that. Konigsberg, got that. Running out of cash and time. Completely out of cash. Okay, that's everything that I can do, I think. Alright, so I still probably might end up losing Plock. It's not going to be the end of the... Oh, hang on. Shit. Do something to cancel right away. Okay, at Plock, what I want to do is just try and save this guy's ass and just put him here. An honor to serve, my lord. Building a fort to defend from honorable lord. Yeah, whatever, it'll be fine. Okay, that's the end of this episode. Fuck, fuck. Oh shit, there's lots of stuff here. Um, grab it. Just grab it, okay. Alright, there we go. Alright, so that's the end of this episode, guys. So like and subscribe, turn 20, I guess it'll be next. And don't forget to check out everyone else's channels. See you next time, fuckers.